Hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Eikhoff, and today I'm going to tell you a little story about a European drinking icon named King G. And while I do enjoy this painting process of my painting, King G, for a show at Upper Level Gallery in the Crossroads, Kansas City, that is honoring a local bar and delicatessen named King G. King G, or King Gambrinus, his full name, supposedly a European cultural hero. And this is because he is the icon of beer. Supposedly, as the myth portrays, King G was the inventor of beer. Now, there are some real historical figures that are attributed to King G, but we're not really sure if there was actually a King G that existed, and we're certainly not sure if there's really any evidence that he invented beer. We're not going to get into that today. We're just going to learn a little bit about the King G legend, the King G myth, and what uh, what this little bar in Crossroads, Kansas City is celebrating um, and, and why they named their bar and delicatessen after this figure, myth or historically accurate regardless. Um, so yeah, apparently he was a kind of chubby and boisterous king figure. A king of what? I don't know. Some people attribute his identity to John the First, the Duke of Brabant, or John the Fearless of Burgundy. But we don't really know. We know he's probably Germanic or Bavarian, something like that. And he liked beer. Apparently could drink a lot, could put back some bubblies. And I've also read some myths. This is all coming from Wikipedia, folks, so <laughs> I'm just saving you time. And telling a little story, kind of summarizing it horribly. You know, you don't write a paper based on the information you hear in this video. But anyway, um, Gambrivus, Gambrinus, however you want to say it, Gampar could be another name. And apparently he made a deal with the devil. And in exchange for his soul, he was granted a second chance at life and the skill in order to brew beer. And he shared that gift with the world and even mastered it to a, a degree that when the devil sent for his soul, to claim it, sent his servant, I forgot what the servant's name was, um, you know, King G duped the servant by getting him drunk on the beer. How ironic is that? And he was able to prolong his life for nearly a hundred years longer, uh, which is pretty cool, you know? But anyway, apparently this guy was a legend. He invented beer, and so that is a pretty good name for a, a bar venue. And I've actually admittedly never even bought a beer at this venue in Kansas City, but I decided to paint something for this gallery showing to support them despite that. And hopefully somebody buys it. If they don't, then I guess I'll just keep this painting Somebody else will buy it later. We'll see. It's a pretty cool painting, I guess. And, yeah, I, I'm not really... I love beer. I'm not really a drinker anymore, though. I think I might have drank too much beer. And as a result, I no longer really have an affinity for alcohol. I found that it got me in more trouble than it was helpful to my life. And I think I'm entertaining enough without being intoxicated by alcohol. Um, no shame to anybody that still likes alcohol. 
do you. I just hope you let me do me and, you know, shouts out to anybody living that sober life. You know, you have solidarity in me. If you're trying to quit drinking, you can do it. Don't, you don't need to feel peer pressured. You know, be confident in yourself and your own personality. And you can have a happy life without booze. And if you still like to drink beer, buy this painting. Because it'll be a good one for you. And if not, I got more paintings for sale in my shop. So, anyway, here's the final pick. I hope you enjoy this. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.